poisonous. Its crate is addressed to the Rio de Janeiro Zoo. Guessing his friends are headed there. Friends? Yeah, of course, he has friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Addison, how's it going with the ship's computer? Mm, still trying. Just, um, keep that creepy crawly far away from me. Don't you listen to the grouchy widow notebook. Spotters are the world's most misunderstood creatures. They're vital to the ecosystem. They eat pesky insects and protect crops. If you didn't have corn spiders, entire cornfields could be destroyed. No cornfields means no corn. That means no tamales, no tortillas. I say viva las arañas. Bad news, Em. I can't get enough of a Wi-Fi signal inside this aluminum <gasps> death trap. Anyone else feeling a little caliente? Tarantulas thrive best when the temperature is between 70 and 75 degrees. They don't do well much above 80. Then we have something in common. Something's most likely keeping tabs on this fella's climate, like a wireless thermostat with a dedicated signal. We have one in Cafe Adams to monitor our walk-in fridge. I can try to hardwire Addison to its transmission. And I think I know where we can find it. I'd go in there, but someone else is gonna have to hold Bernie here. I don't think so. You two seem to have a special bond. Well, I guess Maddie always said, face your fears. This is just staring mine right in its hairy eyeballs. Well, good luck, Em. Uh, you're coming with me. Great. Hello, I'm coming in. The camera we planted on Grady is working great. Is it me or does it seem like this guy's in a real hurry? Who's he calling? Doing a reverse phone number lookup. <sighs> Maywood Glen Cab Company? Yeah, I need a ride to the airport. As soon as you can get here. Why is he leaving town before the concert? Looks like Grady's trying to make a run for it. If he's not stealing those three T's, he might know who is. We have to do something to stop him, or at least slow him down until Michaela gets back. Hotel Millennial. Hi, this is room 519. I would like to order room service. Lots of it. Now. Found it. Addison, get us out of here. Aye, aye, Captain. Rerouting us back to the dock right now. It's okay to be impressed. Sometimes facing your fears is all it takes to conquer them. On room service, get there. <sighs> Finally. Check it out. You're not going anywhere. Is that? It is. Maddie. I can't do this anymore. You don't have a choice. You're in until I tell you that you're out. I deserve to know what's going on. You don't need to know anything. She sees the camera. We wanted an answer, we just got an answer. Maddie's definitely gone rogue. So, why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. <laughs> or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? <laughs> uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Black Star's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory methods. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Blackstar, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us? About what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? <sighs> Kinda late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstar's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. 
Took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. See, this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is... I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands. Who knows what he's capable of? But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Daron wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now, just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's got to be in the control room already. There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Blackstar won't be able to harm anyone, ever. Cam's right, we have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet one of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Ooh. Who is it? Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here to take it back. Uh, hello. You got this. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created, created Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized controlled drip irrigation system, I mean, sick like amazing, not sick like <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. OK, uh, thanks, guys. Uh... Amazing, right? OK, <laughs> now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle, and they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal power, the ice and salt churn at a higher rate. Creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado, ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone, right in bandwidth? I remember. Drip is the new cool. I knew it would catch on. Hashtag trendsetter. I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, right in science. Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. Oh, Jesus, he's going to watch the show. Oh, 
Michaela. I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's okay. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well, as a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Brian will be there. 